Hello and welcome. This is Kujo Sound, and I'm Bjorn Jacobson. And in this video, I'm going to describe a little bit more in detail how I managed to set up the fake crack system in Hitman Season 1. Um, I don't have the original project any longer, so we're going to be doing this from scratch um, in WISE, and so that you can get the hang of, of how this was done. The point in a fake crowd was that we would have a system where a crowd would sound like a language but not be in the language um, simply so that you couldn't listen to what they were saying but you would think of it as being in the original language this was done by uh, mainly by me uh, throughout the entire game but what we did was that we created um, created these rules about how should we do this uh, and we did so by by um, writing down a list of words. We just Google translated a bunch of words in any language and then just wrote them down, not as they were supposed to be written, but as they sounded. And then we would normally have a conversation between two people faking this language. Um, it worked best, we found out, if you um, thought about the most stereotype um, stereotype person from that country, that language that you were trying to fake. Um, so in Italian, it's very much Italian. In French, it's very French. Um, and I have a copy here of the Arab one that we did. Um, just to be clear, we're not trying to make fun of any language. Uh, it is fun to do it, but we're, we're, it's, it's, it's dead serious. It's dead serious, supposed to sound like the crowd in that language when, when you're done. Um, as much as it's being fun to do. Um, so here we have a couple of recordings of me uh, and this other colleague I had, Manuel Espasandin, who he's Spanish. No, he's actually from Uruguay. Sorry about that. Uh, and we did the Arab one. Just wrote down a list and just had a long conversation. And it's just seriously psychobabble between random words like, Boat, football, hello, my name is blah, 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 whatever, and it's really fun. That's one file. Um, then the other ones are... Just random words. Uh, I think we were having a conversation about how to get into a f soccer football stadium. Uh, also, how to get, like, how to drop the puck in a hockey game. But just trying to trying to have that conversation with a fake language that we didn't know about. So this was done in a way that I'm about to show you in, in uh, MS Paint and enjoy my MS Paint skills here. So the plan was to have a system where as you would have a circular, not like that, here we go, circle. This is the radius of our audio source, uh, which is located, let's just put it here. Don't worry about the metrics, it's, uh, you get the picture. Let's say there was about uh, 25 meters from a 25 meter radius, so all the way around this. Um, the plan was to have an, a system that will calculate how many NPCs are in this area. Um, if there are two, we generate two voices of two people talking to each other. If there, if there are three people or four people or even more, we generate these. In this case with Arab, we were just two people recording this. So we needed to duplicate the files um, in order to, to um, give the sensation of being four people. Um, but in the Italian version and the French one that we did, we actually had two or three and four and five people actually having a conversation together so that it wouldn't just be duplicate voices, but actually be four Italian voices that went in. And as much as the Arab one here, the Italian is just full of... And just full of weird languages, stuff like that. Um, if you play the Sepienza level, you will 
find out that the whole level is full of this. Anyway, the whole point is that in this area, the sound of what you're, the, um, the dialogue is inaudible. If you're in this area, let's call it the near vicinity, the sound plays at, at, at almost at full volume, but with quite a lot of reverb on it. If you're in the other area like this, then ugh, these MS Paint skills, they fucking rule. Sorry about that. Um, in this area, sort of like a mix between volume and reverb. And once you're in the outer outskirts areas of this, the volume goes really low and the reverb gets really far. So that it sounds like people are really far away. Now, when you listen to one instance of this, it can sound a little bit weird because usually it's not working well with... Um, with, um, with just one instance of this. It's more like if you walk in an area, you would place uh, maybe 10 of these or even more or less in areas where there would be these NPCs so that it would generate uh, these sources out of, um, um, out of the 3D locations that they were in. So when you're walking down the street and there's like people here, here, and here, and here around you, then it would spawn um, the correct amount of voila in these areas just around you. Um, the reason why we did this is simply because we had a crowd system that would generate crowd audio, but in the places where we actually had NPCs in areas, gathered in areas, we couldn't use the crowd system because that wasn't generating the crowd. It was straight up NPCs. So this is how it worked. Um, and let's go back into WISE here. So back in WISE, I took all these files, um, and I put them into these blend containers here. Um, have in mind that this is not a, this is not a, um, uh, the exact same system that is being used in um, in Hitman. This is like a, a recreation of the system, but this is this is the the general idea of how it was going to work. So I had a blend container here, which would be like this. And it would blend between the two other blend containers, um, which are two and four people. And the way it worked in two and four people is that the two people want just randomizes between all these files. And the other one with four people randomizes between two of these containers. Uh, they're not identical. Um, so when we press play on this, we're always at a distance of zero, so you won't hear anything. But if you go into positioning here edit and then say as you can see um right here when we're within the first what one meter there is nothing ah it's because we're clicking the wrong one so here we are we're playing this blend container and if we go to our Let's lock this so that it keeps playing. All these are just randomizing like this. So once you walk away, there's only the reverb left. The only the reverb is there, um, and the volume becomes really low. And these would spawn around the player in various locations so that you would be able to hear them. Um, let's see here. In the blend container, we have this here. Two, pe two people and four people. Let's go into positioning. Make sure that we are at the loudest. There we go. So now that we are four people, it will generate around the, the, the player. So if we... And we have two generic files, um, as you can see. Down here, crowd, outdoor, crowd. These are just um, some files I've found in them. Um, in a library. Uh, these are actually from Ethiopia and other places, so they're not supposed to be in the Marrakesh level, but that's, you still get the picture. Uh, how this works is that we can see here, the voice volume, if there's a lot of NBCs, it turns up the volume. 
if there are no NPCs, the, the volume is slightly lower, um, which means that it, that it alters between these and changes the volume on that. We also have here the distance, a low pass filter so that when you're further away, it goes like this. And then it controls the, this is the reverb. So when we're really close, there's no reverberation on the voices, but it so instead of just turning down the volume, you also create a, the illusion of these being far away by adding the reverb. This does use a lot of voices, so we had a very strict system that only like three or four of these could play at the same time within the given distance. Let's take a look here. The reverb works like this, that the overall top one here sends to this fake crowd reverb auxiliary bus. And it does so all the time, but this effect here has an RTPC on the dry level, which controls the distance to the crowd. It's just a tiny precaution simply to, to make sure that it sounds a little bit better, better in the game when you're actually walking back and forth between all these characters. So if we stop it, then it works, as you can see. Again, press play. These two here, the, um, the crowd, the, the overall walla that goes on, they have a custom fake crowd attenuation, both of them, which is identical to the other one, but it's turned up a little bit so that when you're close, to the actual source, you will not hear the actual voices, you'll only hear the walla. The reason for this is that this is not synced to the animation, so this is just to give a fake idea that you are in the vicinity of people. So, just like in the Sapienza Cafe area, if you've seen my other video about it, if you go over to the NPC who is supposedly talking, then you won't see any lip movement, you won't see anything that, that, that then suggests that the voice is coming from this person anymore once you're close to it. It's only when you're away from the person that it sounds like someone over there is talking. Uh, in this way, we avoid having to set up systems where it needs to be synced to all that. And it would, it would like create a bit of an uncanny valley in some ways. So. And again, the whole point is that this is supposed to sound Arab. It's not, it is not Arab, and it's not making fun of Arab. It's simply just trying to create the illusion that there are Arab people around you. We did this with both French and Italian and Japanese. We also had an American one, um, which was actually kind of difficult to do um, without being completely completely incoherent and then coherent and um it, it didn't really work so we, we scrapped that one but with with air with arab we did it ourselves we're just two people but with the french and the italian one we actually had people in just having this sort of weird conversation between each other and then we would just edit it out so that it sounds italian and french but isn't italian and french and that's how a fake crowd system can be used to fake that there is an audience around you. Uh, it worked really well in Hitman. We were really satisfied with this system. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on this channel here. And don't forget to sub subscribe on Patreon and all that stuff. Because maybe you would like to come back one day. Have a good one.